Okay, so your teacher has assigned a project where you need to collect images, and that teacher wants you to have citations for each image for your Works Cited page. I'm going to go over places you can look for images and which ones are really useful for citations, which ones are not so useful, and which ones are in between, but you'll definitely want to use the MyBib extension when you do it. So I am going to assume that if you're watching this video about citations, so you've already watched my first one, which shows you how to use MyBib Citation Generator. If you haven't watched it, pause this one and go back to that one. It is located on the library page under this pink link that says Instructional App Ed App Support. Um, so go and watch that one so you understand everything about MyBib. And if you've done that, we will move on. Oops, that's not what I want to move on to, to this. Okay, so when you make an image citation, this is the information that you need. Um, let's take a look at what it is like to search Google Images for that information. Okay, so I put in Spain because I happen to be researching Spain. And wow, there's just a truckload of amazing images here. So in order to get any kind of citation information, I am going to have to click on them. And really, if you're gonna copy it, you're gonna wanna use this bigger picture rather than the thumbnail, because when you stretch it out, it won't be blurry. But no information here. So I need to go to the actual website and see if I can tell who made this picture. Okay, so I actually do have a clue here. It says AP, which is a new source, which means this is a copyrighted image that I shouldn't be using unless I have their permission or I'm paying them. Um, and this is a good habit to start following when you're in school. Probably no one will hunt you down. Um, but definitely I have helped people in business who do public pub publicizing or websites and they need to know how to get credit and give credit so they don't get sued. So um, not a good picture for us to use, but even if we try to create a citation for it, so I just went to the MyBib citation um, extension and I go back here. Um, I do have a citation here, but it's really a citation for this website. It is not showing who created this picture. I mean, we know AP has somehow purchased this, um, but we don't really have the information that we need for a research paper. So I'm going to say, let's leave Google alone and head on over to the library resources where we have online databases and we pay for these. Just so we subscribe to them for for actually $100,000 a year, we subscribe to all these databases so that students and staff can have um, accurate um, information and have the copyright to access it. So the ones I'm gonna recommend to you, first of all, are, is one that's at the top here, Britannica eSchool. So that's just an encyclopedia and you'll wanna pick the high school level. And then you just scroll down a bit and you'll see images and videos. So again, I'm gonna type in Spain. It doesn't allow me to do a very complicated search. It's not like Google. I can't do like Spain food, Spain dancing. It just will be like, I don't have anything. So instead I'll just put Spain, I'll keep it simple. Um, but you'll notice when you go to images, to, 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 to that, there are pages and pages and pages of them. So you do just have to kind of click through. Um, but the best part about it is once you find an image you like, you just go to site and voila, there is your MLA citation and you can just highlight it, right click, copy it and paste it into your works cited page. So that's pretty nice. Um, if you choose one of the other databases, such as Gale, and Gale has a 
bunch of them on all sorts of topics and you type in Spain, look at this, I have 922 images. Surely something here will meet my needs. Um, with the Gale databases, and there's, I don't know, eight of them, nine of them, um, you can click on subjects and then you can see what subjects they have pictures for. So if I'm doing a report on Spain, I would think that, oh, I thought I saw soccer. Yep. You know, soccer is big in Spain. So surely you're going to want to a soccer picture. So how about this one? They look all happy. And then I go to site and boom, I have my MLA citation. I recommend downloading it to Google Drive and then copying and pasting it because then the format stays perfect. But you know that because you've watched the first citation movie that I made. Okay, so that's enough about the databases. Um, I'm really hoping those meet your need because they're the easiest for you to use for citations. I have made this handy dandy chart which shows all the databases in order by subject because I do realize when you go to ClassLink, they're in alphabetical order. It can be a little overwhelming. So this little chart is located on the library homepage. I'm going to show you where that is. So you can always find that chart when you need it. If you just scroll down, here's Indian Trail Library. And if you scroll down some more, here's that nifty little chart. So your teacher might have posted it in their physical classroom, maybe even in their Google classroom. That would make me happy. Um, but it's always there for you. Okay, enough about that. Now I am going to show you eight different image websites that not only are good photos, but they all are copyright free. They are giving you permission to use their photos. Um, one of my favorites is Pixabay, if that's how you say it. And I'm going to just type in Spain and look at this. It even breaks it down. I want Spain food. So these are pretty sharp looking pictures. Here's some paella. And you will notice that we see the creator. No, that's not their real name. It's a username. But MLA says you can put usernames in to your citation. So yay us. I'm just going to go to the little My Bib extension. And we get some help here. It says it's probably credible. You can click on it if we're curious what they're worried about. It says they couldn't verify the quality of the publisher. That means the website, really. They're just a warehouse for images. I'm not really worried about this not being paella. It looks like it is. You know, if it was a more controversial issue. Perhaps I would worry about the credibility. Um, things look pretty good. I see the creator's name in there. So I'm just going to save to project. So here I am in my bib. And I have the citation all ready to go. When I have all my citations, I'll click download. And then I will have my work cited page looking all next. But right now I need to do two things here. One of them is I click on these little three lines and I go to edit. And the reason is, is first of all, right now it, it thinks this is a website, not just an image. So I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna pick image because that can affect the formatting. And I don't know if this changes anything, but this little icon here, it's supposed to be, this is an organization and it's not, it's a person. So you just click it. Not a big deal. This is a bigger deal. This little orange and white exclamation mark. It is telling me that I should capitalize photo. So I'm going to listen to it. And then I just do update. And that citation is good to go. So let's just take a look at a few of the other ones just to see. Because 
you know, they're all going to be a little bit different. Um, so let's see what kind of issues pop up as we try and use this. Okay, so this is Unsplash. And I don't know. Ooh, how about these ladies dancing? That seems like Spain. And look at this. In this one, we have a real person's name. So I'm going to come over here. And again, it says it's probably credible. And again, quality of publisher. And there's the person's name. So this one's ready to go. And remember, I do my three little dots to get to edit. And that looks all good. It's a person. Here we have some things to capitalize. This says fix all. I update. All right, let's do one more. Go down to the bottom row. Um, I'm not going to search here, but I'm going to tell you that this is a Google Images search for um, just images that permission has been given, copyright information has been, or you have permission. So, but they're not the greatest images, so I really wouldn't bother with it. Okay, Flickr. Let's go to Flickr. Okay. And I'm going to put in Spain when it's done spinning. And I want to search photos. Doesn't look like Spain. Okay. It's working on it. it has some ads. Okay, now oh, here's a nice plaza. And let's go over to the MyViv extension and see what they do for us. Okay, so for this one, they have the username as Flickr and Flickr is just the name of the website. So let's go back to Flickr and we're gonna have to get that username into it, Deep Photo. So, going back here, and I'm going to save it, and then I'm going to edit, and I'm going to put, that is the last name, I'm going to capitalize it, and I'm going to click on this little guy says there's something to capitalize here, so I'll fix it. Oops, I didn't change it to an image today. So don't forget that. Okay. So you will notice that Flickr has a really long URL. It doesn't really look good, but it's accurate, so there's nothing wrong with it. Okay. So I think we have covered all we need to today. Just some reminders that there are two places you can look for images besides Google Images. You can go to the library resources in ClassLink and get those good database pictures with the citations pre-made. Or you can go to the Indian Trail Library page, accessible by the Indian Trail page, and um, use those eight websites for pictures. Remember when you go there, you got to click on the three little dots, go to edit, pick edit image, click on any little exclamation marks, and then save. And um, if you need to review anything on the Indian Trail Library page, there's this link and it takes you to all the tutorials I'm working on and ones that I found on the internet that could help you with apps or the databases or lots of things. So you can go there and review. And finally, you are welcome to call me or email me anytime. Um, I live to be asked questions. That's, that's what I'm here for. So um, please contact me if you feel stuck with any troubling image citation. All right. Good luck.